Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector and today we're going to talk about what everyone stopped talking about as they all seem to be focusing on Pokemon VST drama right now and that is Japanese Pokemon. So as you can see, we're going to talk about Pokemon 151 which I made a video on it about two weeks ago where I reacted to the reprint hit in the market and then we're also going to take a look at another Japanese set that is one of my favorite and that is V-Star Universe and uh, again, we're going to talk about what nobody is talking about anymore and that usually could signify a bugging signal. Now, what we like to do here on Battery Collector that you may perhaps don't see in other channels is we like to take a look at data. So if you've been around, you should already know my spreadsheet which is especially where I keep track as you can see here of a lot of things and I have every listing and I update it daily on uh, many different sets. It includes sealed, it includes singles, it includes Japanese, English, and basically this tracks down car market listings and I just keep track of them. So today I made a, a little upgrade, hope you're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna show you some data that has already been elaborated just a tiny bit. We're gonna take a look at some charts coming off this data and we'll try to come up with a few ideas as always taken off that data. So here I thought I would uh, use a PowerPoint presentation which kind of brings me back to middle school and uh, as you can see here we have Japanese 151. Now these charts as you can see here these are taken from European listings on car market and this is the number, the total number of Japanese boxes, all the Japanese. I've been asked before if I was also considering Koreans as they are listed all together. No guys, don't worry. I filter them. They're all filtered. It's all Japanese boxes. And uh, as you can see here, this is number of boxes over time, total listings. And uh, this is the average price of the four lowest listings. So we're trying to observe how the prices are evolving when it comes to lowest listings. And uh, one thing that is pretty nice to see is what basic microeconomics would tell us. This is supply is telling us supply has been increasing over this is today so May 13th and we started to keep track on uh, April 21st and uh, price lowest prices are going down now this is interesting it bottom at 100 and it kept moving higher significantly also because it went from below 800 to above 1000 and here if take a look here on the right again it bought it seemed to have bottom at 100 and now it's basically moving in the 100 to 105 euros a box. Now you, you may you may wonder if you're still watching at this point, Barry. I'm American. Why would I care about this? Well, obviously, as long as you don't live in Japan, you're gonna need to import these boxes. And uh, these prices right here on the right will reflect Japanese prices. So prices on the Japanese market. What usually happens is that in the EU. And the US prices for Japanese boxes are, are going to move together. Now, you may not have boxes for 105 euro, euros, maybe for $100, $95, but they're going to move together. So the direction is going on average to be the same. It obviously, just going to be a different absolute value, as they are, after all, two different currencies. So that also needs to be taken into consideration. But uh, the main key takeaway is people have been importing bo boxes significant amount because again it went from 200 to 1,000 and prices have reacted to it. They react to the largest supply. Now moving on to V Star Universe here, as you can see, we have the same two charts. This is the total number of boxes listed in the European market, car market, and this is the average price of the four lowest listed. And um, Apart this little spike here that it, it on the chart, it looks significant, but as you can see, it went from 67 to about 64, which after all, it is roughly a 5% move in a day. Uh, but here we have the same story. Now, in terms of absolute values, we have a less number of boxes been dumped into the market from roughly 550 to 750 against 200 and 1000. But they've both been increasing and also obviously in terms of percentage wise the number of boxes for 151 5x -ed. whereas here we basically have a roughly of a 50 percent increase in terms of supply and as you can see this is but interesting because despite the fact that supply 
as you can see here, supplies moving higher over this period of time. Price also moved higher until it suddenly bottomed. So this could, could mean, it makes me think that as boxes got cheaper in Japan, people then bought the boxes while they were cheap, as you can find right now in Japan for below $50 a box. So it makes me think people started to buy at that price point, which went lower over this time span. And um, so they were able to now sell at a lower price point to then probably this, as you we already taken here, the four lowest listed, they probably got sold at that price. And now we're back into the low 70 to high 60s. So now here on Vista Unisher, the main takeaway we could get from these two charts is, and these are just assumption, price hasn't moved much, while supply increased, that tells me that either demand is still strong for this set, or else these sellers bought back in the days where the price was much higher, and now they're not willing to sell at a loss, so they want at least make their money back. It's pro probably number two, because as you can see here, as supply kept on growing higher, it means that demand, even if it was there, it wasn't enough, to suck on supply. If demand was strong enough, then we would have had either a pretty much stable line here, horizontal line, or else we would have gone up with a less aggressive angle of ascent. Now, one thing obviously is if you like this kind of stuff, I would highly recommend you join the Discord as you can also ask me for updates on the data and spoiler, I'm working for something so you guys can access this data for free and stay updated on the market conditions. Now, you may ask, well, Barrett, okay, you talked about this, you showed us this data, what are you gonna do? Well, as I said before in the 151 video, I'm not willing to buy at 100 euros because it's more than 2x MSRP. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, but uh, this, my personal opinion tells me that it is pretty interesting, Vistar Universe, because it's a great set great artworks. I'm a big fan of both Vistar Unis and Crown Zenith. I do think Crown Zenith is the best set in the Soul and Shield era when it comes to artworks. And maybe getting straight from Japan where I could save some money could be an interesting play. Now, I'm not big into Japanese boxes. I prefer to stick in English. However, I'm starting to consider Vista Universe. I will keep you updated here on the channel. But as of right now, if I were to express a preference, it would be Vista Universe over Japanese 151. Now, again, hope you see you in the Discord. If you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a like. If you don't want to miss out, then I highly recommend you subscribe as well. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.